Hi guys, in this session we are going to see an interesting story that is Mittu and the Yellow Mango. Without wasting time, let's get into the story. So the main character who comes in this story is Mittu. So this Mittu was a parrot. Okay, this Mittu was a parrot. And the color of this parrot was green and also it had a red beak in its mouth. So this parrot was green in color with a red beak. One fine day, this mittu was flying actually. Usually the birds will fly like that. This parrot mittu was also flying. He loved to fly. So once he was flying, immediately he looked down. While looking down, he saw a big yellow mango on a tree. Once he found out this mango, anyway, however the bats be, they would like to pick up on that. So, Mittu usually like mangoes. So, what happens is, just by looking at that yellow mango, he said that, I want to eat that yellow mango, he said. So, in order to eat that yellow mango, this Mittu parrot flew down towards the tree. Once this parrot Mittu was going towards the tree, some sound, some noise was heard from the backside of this parrot, that is, Ka, ka, go away, this is my tree. So this voice was coming, that is, ka, ka, go away, this is my tree. A voice said like this, when Mittu looked up, Mittu saw a big black crow. So these words are coming from the mouth of this black crow. This black crow was telling that, this is my tree, go away. And also again and again the crow was shouting go 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 like that. He had a very loud voice. This, uh, this crow had a very loud voice. So he was again and again chasing this parrot Mittu by telling go 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 away. Mittu was actually afraid of the crow so he flew away. Even though he flew away he loved to eat that mango. So on his way, Mittu saw a red balloon which is lying under a tree. So while looking at that balloon, an idea pricked in the mind of this parrot Mittu. So what he did is, he picked up the red balloon. He was very careful not to burst that balloon because he has an idea to do with that balloon. So immediately he took that red color balloon and took, took it in his uh, beak and it was going towards that tree. He Again he flew to that mango tree. The crow was sitting on that tree. Mittu went behind the tree very slowly. After going nearer, uh, far nearer towards that uh, crow, he picked the balloon with his red beak. He just picked that balloon by using his red color beak. So a sound, a blasting sound came up from that balloon that is pop. The balloon burst out. So it made a loud noise. So by hearing that noise, the crow started to make noise by crying kaka. So while he was crying at the same time, he fell off from the tree. By hearing to that noise, he fell off from the tree. Kaka, a big gun is after me, said the crow. Because... By hearing this bursting noise, this crow was shouting that there is a big gun is after me. So there is a gun which is there behind me. Run, run. And he also flew away. This crow flew away from that tree. He never came back to that tree. Because by imagining that there is a gun, this crow went away from that, uh, from that tree by fearing. By fearing to that gun sound. So there is no chance for that crow to come back to that tree because it was scared because of the noise which is made by this clever parrot Mittu. So the presence of minds gave his likable mango again to this Mittu parrot and he enjoyed tasting that yellow colored mango. So in our life also if you are having any difficult situations if we, are, if we have the ability to think over that uh, those things and we are able to think of clever ideas like this parrot me too, we will also be able to overcome all those situations. 
I hope you could have enjoyed this story. Stay connected with CBS Glimpse for more videos. Thank you.